Hello, 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 little paper crafter, back with you again on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, I am coming on with you to show you some of the little things that I added in my sweet treat 2023 swap, hosted by Carmen and uh, Carmen Q Crafts and um, Cassie. Um, this is my embellishment box and then also some little goodies that I stuck in there for what I entered, entered into, um, for the swap. So let me go ahead and get started. Oh, wait, before we get started, if you are not a follower, please follow me by hitting the subscribe button. And, um, then if you would like to be notified, you can hit the notified button and that'll notify you every time that I upload a new video. Um, and I would more than appreciate for you to come along with me on this crafty YouTube journey that I am doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, these little things are just embellishments that I could not fit into the book. This is part two of what I'm submitting. There's a part one, and that was the embellishment book. Um, and this is part two, which is my embellishment box and the other little goodies that I'm sticking in there. Um, let's go ahead and get, get started with this. These... Are, what we were supposed to do is include, I think it was six embellishments, two of each. I could be wrong um, because, of course, you know, you know me. I, I went above and beyond what I was supposed to. So, anyways, this is the bow um, bag topper, and I believe I got this from Scrap Diva. This is one of hers. Isn't that beautiful? I thought it was so pretty. What I did is I had these flowers. I think I got these flowers from some like scrapbooking event that I recently went to um, with my girls. And the colors match perfectly with the um, Dulce collection that I used um, for my embellishment book and for what I'm using for my um, entry. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting to give you guys any information. But once again, the um, collection that I'm using and that I'll be showing you for my embellishment book and all these little goodies that I did um, is the Dulce collection, which is Prima Frank Garcia. Um, however, that collection is no longer available. Um, so with this, I added the little eyelash trim in the middle of the bow and then stuck the pearl in the middle to pull out that antique-ish look. And here is a... Rosette done by our wonderful Ebony, and I'll link her um, web page down below. That's my girl. I love her. She's awesome at her trim and her um, rosettes that she does. Okay, um, and then so what I did is on the top is a foamed cookie, and this die is from Case Crafts. Um, it's a heart, and then the bow is probably Case Crafts too. And then I added using some of the flowers that came in this pack. In the middle of the bow and then I also included on each cross is a nouveau dot tried to do the color of the collection to pull it through a little bit more so that is one of the additions that I have I wanted to add some chocolate in the sweet treat put it in the um, cellophane bag of course and then this die cut I think this is a case crafts bag topper and it says sweet um what I did is I the little candy for the middle of the candy I just put a little um oh what is that I keep forgetting the name of that um a fastener the paper fasteners I can't remember um but I chipped it off to make it flat and it's like a pearl in the middle and then I used my um trim I think I'm saying the, the name wrong for this too. <laughs> um, to pull in the pink and the brown a little bit more. So that's one. And I showed you that one. Okay, and then the next one is I added some stickers that I think I got from Allie last year. And these are just some like little sweet treat stickers. Um, this pen, I got this from Michael's like years ago. And I've had it forever, so I wanted to stick it in there because it's a sweet treat. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And it's pink. Um, and then there's some little note, sticky notes um, that are ice creams. I think I got that from Michael years ago again. Um, and then this is a bag topper. This is the KS Craft bag topper that just came out. Um, and I use foam to pull it up. 
And then once again, there's that little bead thing to stick it in the middle to kind of bring that antique look. And then also a bow. And then this is, I think this was an AliExpress die. I don't know exactly where I bought this. It's in my stash. But to mimic the ice cream with the roses, I added the rose flowers that I've used throughout this um, entry that I've put together, my project. And I think it came out so pretty. Look at that. And then me, I think it's amazing. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, let's see. And then the next thing that I'm adding is I found these marshmallows. Look at, so yummy. At I think it was TJ Maxx. I think it was TJ Maxx that I found these marshmallows, and they're pink, the same color of the collection. So I had to buy a couple of these so that I could add these to my swap partners. Um, here's another bow, which this bow, um, I think the smaller bow, I put in the embellishment book. But this is the bigger bow. This is the Chaos Craft bow that it just came out, I think, a couple of months ago. And then in the middle, what I did to bring that antique look in is I put another um, jewel in there. Hopefully you can see it. And then this cupcake die is from is from um scrap diva and um now that i look at it i probably should have and i'm probably going to add little nouveau drops onto the edges just to maybe some pink nouveau drops or something um just to give it a little bit of 3d-ish on this um but this is scrap diva i don't know if it's still available but it's a scrap diva die and it's uh, her cupcake die and i put a little straw chocolate strawberry on there and then the bag topper is just a, I think this is a Sizzix doily that I just stuck in, on there as a bag topper. And then there's that. And the last, but not the least, this is the embellishment box. Isn't this adorable? I will have to say... I got this idea because I was watching a Mommy and Me channel or a Mommy and Me video. And I think it was Hello, It's Me, Roxy, that submitted this file to a swap that Patty was doing. And I thought, oh, that is so adorable. So this is an SVG file. Um, if you are interested in this file, please contact me or hello, it's me, Roxy. She also was the one that told me where I could get the file from. Um, and I use this on my Cricut. I love this file. And then what I did is I just used my trim that I bought also from Ebony. <laughs> um, and I stuck a, in a rosette from Ebony <laughs> in the middle. And then this was just some chipboard that I had available that I stuck in the middle. And then I also did the Nouveau Drops to edge the line or the, to uh, give it a little bit of color in 3D. And this comes out, isn't that cute? Hopefully I'm in, in frame here, I should be looking. So these, each little box, which I'm not gonna open these cause I don't wanna um, make it to where it's unsticky, but each little box is a compartment. So in each box, I added two little ephemeras or little uh, cabochons. I'm sorry, not ephemeras. Let me see. This one's going to open. So they can open each box. And there's, look at that. Isn't that cute? So there's a little treat that is going to be on each Hershey, Hershey box. And then the inside is just filled with a whole bunch of stuff. I probably will put each one of these in a bag, an individual bag, before I send it out. But um, this is the embellishment box, so I put all these different little goodies in there. These are chipboards of a whole bunch of different um, little uh, treats. And then also... I added some stars. There's a couple paper clips in here that I made using E6000 and a, a little cabochon thing. 
oh, I made this one too. And this is a donut. I think I got the donut from Hobby Lobby. And then the paper clip I got from AliExpress. I actually, I added some of these, um, what are they called? Um, I can't remember. I totally forgot what these are called. Hopefully you guys can see them. They're little heart ones. Um, and then I added some of these little dangles. So in here is a whole bunch of goodies. And honestly, I probably will um, separate the little goodies in, in like a little um, a bag. So that it's not as, as, as messy. Look at this little jar. Isn't that cute? I think I got this from AliExpress too. There's a little watermelon in there. And they can use it for um, dangles. Or beads. Or not beads. Um, What are they called? Uh, I can't remember. It's been one of those days with work and everything else lately. <laughs> um... And then I added some just regular paper clips in there. So there's a whole bunch of little goodies that are in here. And that is my embellishment box. I probably could have put, you know, little dividers. Um, but I was at a crunch for time. Um, and I and I did not do that. And then once... And you can just go ahead and close this up. Just like that. Look at that. And stick it in. And you could also, you don't need to use this case. You could also just put some ribbon or like tool or something like that and tie it closed that way. But isn't this cute? And like I said again, this is a file, an SVG file. So isn't that cute? It's like a little Hershey. Adorable. And that is it, you guys. If you guys have any questions to anything that I showed you, please, please, please go ahead and contact me. Leave a comment down below or contact me on my IG, Little Paper Crafter. And then don't forget to hit that like button, please, um, so that that can help YouTube know that um, I'm doing good at doing these videos. And then it'll also help me increase my followers. Um, if you have not done it already, hit the subscribe button. And then also come with me on this crafting YouTube journey. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And until next time, sweet treats. Bye-bye. <laughs>